3rd of October 2020, Nigerians reignited the NSAS campaign as a result of the unfortunate incident that trended on social media. An incident that was reported from Ugeli Delta State where a young man was said to have been shot by SAS. Well, while so many people have reignited the call for the ban and total end of SAS operatives, we have some other people who are calling for the reformation of SAS. Protests have been held in different parts of the country and so many celebrities, actors, actresses, musicians as well as concerned Nigerians have used their social media platforms to call for a reformation and sometime, and for some, the end of SARS. We are on the street of Lagos today to ask people around here what they think about SARS and if the government should end SARS or maybe reform SARS in general. Let's check out what people have to say. Welcome to Enyola Badmos TV. My name is Elisha Moyosoro Lua. And all time favorites. If federal government should end SARS or reform them, for now, I think the federal government has to. In short, it's mandatory for them to end SARS now because the harassment is getting too much. The killings, especially in Delta State, that is my state, that's where I'm from. I'm seriously angry with the way SARS are killing innocent youth in the state. So the estate, the other day I saw another video online about um, uh, SARS going into people's houses in, and, uh, in River State, bringing out young boys, beating and harassing boys. It is time that the federal government ends SARS and end it once and for all. Even the police force needs to be reformed as well. So that is my own opinion about this SARS issue. They should be end, they should just end it once and for all. They should end it once and for all. Once and for all, end SARS, no time. Because some of the SARS, if you see some SARS, you will see them hearing in their ear, dread on their head, tattooing in their body. And they will see arrest someone that have dread and have hearing and have tattoo. Now beside that, they fuck me up a lot of things. They have done a lot of things to me, which is there's one day where SARS only for bad over here. Doing nothing, oh. They just Put me for a car after walking around with me, they collect money for my hand. And then they tell me, I'll be a young boy, I'll see the Ozu. They tell me, I'll be a lazy Jude, while I see the carry bomb bomb for head. SARS could own me, I'll be a Ozu. I better not end this SARS because their problem eh? they don't reach air fire. Maybe they just stop them like that, they beg. End SARS, no time. I think SARS, um, their job should come to an end because they are not really helping the nation. They are not really helping the country, they are not really helping the citizen. Even though, instead of helping the citizen, they are not taken from the citizen, either by force or if you don't have to give them, they kill you. So they have to end SARS. SARS have no job in Nigeria. They have to end them. They should end this life. Life. Because SARS has been killing many people in this city also. Even, even, even yesterday, they were breaking somebody's tire in presence, in presence of assuming that I have my phone number. Eh? I've like I've like come it and send it again and see. So they should send it. They should send it. But we don't want them. We do Nigeria did not want them. But they are a killer. They are not a human being. They are a killer. And then moreover, even federal government are doing part. They are they are appointing uh, what do you call it? All those uh, area boys to the SAS. Why? Eh? Eh, there's a there's a lot of people that want to that want to pay, uh, uh, do in integrity. In this work, but they couldn't do. They, they couldn't pick them. They are picking uh, Alasa boys to do SARS. You know that they are killer, so they should end it. When we talk about ending, you can end it now, and then another uh, another set will come up thereafter, and uh, it will still be the same thing. But if it is reformed, then whether it is this set or the next set that will come, uh, we will be we will actually have um, a better means of solving the issue that is on ground. Thank you. At first, I will say it's a good idea if they should hand SARS, you know, because um, many things we have been hearing concerning them in the state, uh, it's more than, it's, it's unbearable, really. Uh, because uh, before you know it, they'll say SARS did this, SARS shot people, uh, shot someone die, dead, and, uh, you know, it's so crazy. I think if even though they are not going to stop them, um, maybe they should reduce the the power they gave to them. Maybe that because uh, sometimes you just see a policeman just cross you and um, will just ask you for your phone. Then another the next thing is start searching your phone and it, it looks embarrassing. So I, I just feel 
they should stop them or they should reduce the power given to them. That's just what I feel. Thank you. I cannot, I cannot say they should answer us, but I think a reformation is better, is a better word to use. Because uh, in this country, we know that human beings, we are tough. And uh, there's no way if you remove police out of the road today, you know what will happen, you know. Many people, there will be a lot of social vices and much corruption and, a, in fact, a lot of crime. But at the same time, I would say that uh, the government should do what is uh, what concerns the public policy. You understand? What um, brings, you know, peace to the community. Uh, but I think information is better, in my opinion, so they can reform. Uh, the way I saw their job on the communities, it's like they are using uh, personal morale to do the job. She understand. That is why I guess that although they are trying their best to be a good, to be a good uh, worker of community, but uh, due to the morale of their their personal morale, they are used to hard for the work. So it looks like say they are pressure. They are pressure citizens for, from their job. They are intimidate some people that are not even innocent people because of their morale, the personal morale for the job. So that's why I don't support them anymore for the society. I think they should end SARS. They should put an end to SARS because they, they are work. I know they are trying, but they are killing innocent people with too much. They will arrest, they, they arrest people, they kill innocent people in each state, everywhere, in Lagos here yeah, and in Benin. For what? Some, some, they will just look at you and be following up and down, asking you questions. Before that, they started slapping you, started referring to you. It, it, it does not make any sense. I think they should pull into SARS. Thank you. Many people have told us what they think about the SARS issue. But the question now is, what will the government do? A lot of orders have been coming from different angles. The IDP has given the order for SAS to put an end to their routine protocol. But the question is, will this order take any effect? We keep our fingers crossed and we'll definitely bring you updates right here on Nenola Badmos TV. Remember to like and subscribe and remember to also use your voice to speak until we are heard. See you next time. My name is Alesha Muyosori Olua. Hi wonderful people, my name is Eniola Badmos and of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going on around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much guys and guys please do not forget that there's pandemic in the lab, we need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands we should use alcohol based sanitizer we should maintain social distancing we should use nose mask to be protected above all guys let's stay safe That's it on trending for today. Many thanks for staying here on Enola Badmos TV. Remember to like and subscribe as we bring you more stories during this. Enola Badmos TV. Entertainment without bounds.